Everybody, so today we're going to be looking at making a framed image inside of Maya, so like a picture frame. Um, <clears throat> there's already two videos, uh, but they're a little bit older, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new one that has the updated hypershade in it. Um, so that way it's not so confusing. Um, I didn't realize they had changed it that much in 2024 until I really got into it, so here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my simple picture frame, so I'm just going to do that with a box. I'll scale it up to the size I want it. So that's good. Right there. So now I'm going to make the actual frame. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and go to face. And I'm just going to go to my mesh tools and I'll be using, or my edit mesh tools, and I'll be using extrude. So you can see I went ahead and scaled that down, and then I'm going to go to Mesh, or I'm going to go to Edit Mesh and Extrude again, or I could just hit Control e There we go. So now it's actually got that uh, done to it. So it looks like it's got the recessed canvas inside of the picture frame. All right, so now what we're going to do is we have to UV it so that way we can texture it. So by default, it doesn't have any UVs. So I'm just going to have Maya assign UVs to the whole thing. So I'm going to select the whole thing. I'm going to come up here to UV. I'm going to go to automatic. Uh, let's do planes. Yeah, six planes is good. Fewer pieces is what we want. Uh, and project. So it looks like you could have left it by default and just clicked apply, and that would have been fine. Okay, so that's it projecting the UVs. If you want to see what those UVs look like, we can go to the UV UV editor. Uh, and then let me select my object here. There we go. So there they are right here. Um, so then as you hover over each of the faces, you can see which one you're looking at. So this is the one that's going to be the picture frame. <clears throat> or this one's going to actually be the canvas, right? So I can move it wherever I want. You're going to see why I want to do that uh, very soon. Um, but I'll just leave it there for now. So let's go ahead and go to the hypershade and actually give it some materials. So I'm going to go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. So what we want to do is we want to build two new textures for this object. So I'm going to go ahead and build a Lambert. That's just a default texture without any like super high specularity or anything on it. Um, so you can see the specularity based on these little highlights on the small um, Texture preview, so you can see the see the specularity on there. It's it's how light is going to reflect or or uh, change on it. So I'm going to go ahead and make this like a brown color. Um, maybe like a that's good. That's all right. I'll do that one. Okay. No, it looks too much like skin. We'll put it in like a light teal frame. There we go. OK, so once that's done, we can apply this to the entire piece. So right now, I'm going to right click, go to object mode. So the whole piece is selected. And then I'm just going to go to Lambert 2, which is this one. And I can either middle mouse and drop it on there, or I can right click and hold and assign material to selection. And that does the same thing, except I didn't have anything selected. So right click and hold, assign material to selection. There we go. OK, so now what we need to do is we need to frame, we need to do a texture for this face right here in the middle. So let's go ahead and make a new one for that. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and make a blend. And they're going to stack on each other in here. It's really not a big deal. Um, so with blend selected, this is where it gets a little confusing. With blend one selected, or, 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 or anisotropic, or whatever you want to use, um, with blend one, uh, obviously they need to be like uh, Lambert, Fong, Blin, Anisotropic. They need to be one of those. Uh, anyway, so once you have blend selected, we can see it over here in our options for blend. And where we see color, we're going to click on this little checkerboard. And once you click on that checkerboard, you're going to click on File. Once you click File, it's going to then bring you to the File Attribute section, and it has image name and a folder. So this is where you're going to click, and uh, mine's in my downloads. So I'll go to Halo, and then Downloads, and Horizon, and hit 
open. So it's going to be kind of a mess on there. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this face. I'm going to right click and assign material to selection. So you can see that it applied, except we can't really see that it's there, right? There's nothing telling us it's there. So what I want you to do is go to shading and turn on hardware texturing. And that's going to show the whole image. And you can see that my image is messed up. That That's not at all the image I want. I mean, you, I know what the full image looks like. So I guess you guys don't, but that's... Uh, anyway, that's not right. So let's go ahead and fix it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my UV, and I'm going to go to my UV editor. So we can see this is my face here, and this is the whole image. Now, all of these other pieces are inconsequential because they're assigned to this different material, so it does not matter what you do to them uh, unless you're messing with the other material. But we're messing with just this material and this face. So I'm going to go ahead and move this right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. And there we go. And then that is my file. That is my picture frame and everything. All done. I hope the video helped. Uh, it should have been updated enough um, for you that now there shouldn't be any confusion, hopefully. Uh, but if there is, please do not hesitate to reach out, email me, whatever you need to do. I will help you as best I can. And uh, thank you very much.